Welcome ladies and gentlemen to my review of Immaculate. We will be talking spoilers with this film because the trailer showed an awful lot of stuff and to really review it and to get into the nitty gritty we kind of have to touch on some spoilers. There's not really any major spoilers that you would you know be thinking outside of the trailers quite frankly though I think that's important to note. So what are my initial thoughts? So I watched it today. My initial thoughts are yeah, I mean, it's middling. It's not standout. It's not awful either. It is about what I expected it to be. It is directed by Michael Mohan. Uh, it stars Sydney Sweeney. There are, of course, other people in there. Alvo Alvaro, Alvaro uh, Morte, who plays a father. Uh, and then some other some people here and there. But the two main individuals that you'll be concerning yourself with is, of course, Sydney Sweeney. And then the father, Alvaro Monte. Um, th this is very well shot. I'll say that much. I, I think that's important to note, actually. This film is very well shot. And pretty much everything from a technical perspective is great. Very, very, very good, in fact. Some of the cinematography, the, the way they line up shots, the way everything's composed in frame was brilliant. The set designs are beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Uh, the sound, the score, right? The sound design that they bring to this was absolutely brilliant as well. Everything else, so the story, be it, you know, an immaculate conception and sort of what happens from there was, okay, yeah, it was, it was kind of what I expected it to be, quite frankly. Um, now, that's not necessarily a bad thing, by the way, ladies and gents. That's not necessarily bad. I think for Sydney Sweeney doing a film like this, is a pretty safe bet to get her out there more and more and build up her repertoire. Also to build up her sort of confidence in doing different genres because I've not seen her in anything like this yet. So what is the story? Well, Cecilia, a woman of the, the cloth, uh, goes to an Italian convent of nuns, obviously, and uh, an immaculate conception occurs and from there, things happen, <laughs> basically. Uh, a lot of it is implied in terms of what she's carrying, no, nothing out and out stated. So let let me let me uh, let me scooch on in here and uh, give you a little bit more sort of thoughts and feelings. And this is why I wanted to talk on spoilers. So this film is very gory, I guess, to a degree. Um, I enjoyed some of the. I say enjoyed. It's not like I enjoy gore and blood, but you get my point. Like I think it's it's always. Uh, good to see uh, a, a film not shy away from the gore. In bloody horror, this is an 18, so that would be a hard R, uh, I guess, in the States. And, you know, it earns that. There's nudity, you know, you see Sidney Sweeney's baps floating about, literally floating about, um, and some other people's nipples and things like that. That's about the breadth of <laughs> the, breadth, uh, of the uh, nudity in, you know, in this film. Um, there's not exactly a whole lot else, so it earns its R rating from the gore. Uh, and, you know, it does it quite well. There, there is a tongue cut off. There is a, a face smashed in uh, from someone that commits suicide. Uh, jumps off of a thing and just... Pfft, big, big old splattery mess. And uh, it does earn that hard R. It definitely earns the hard R. But everything else... Outside of the cinematography, the sound design, all of those other things are quite mid. Now, let me just uh, scooch in here. My dog was down underneath me. Um, I think it's important to note that there will be some people that will absolutely hate this movie because uh, where they see, whether rightly or wrongly, where they see Hollywood doing sort of easy pickings in terms of the edginess. And I think it's important to you know to raise that as, as a very justifiable issue is that Hollywood, generally speaking, does see Christianity as an easy pushback. It's an easy thing to make a mockery of. Um, seldom, if ever, have I ever seen anything which makes a huge mockery uh, of Islam or uh, Judaism and other such faiths as well. So, is this easy pickings? Yes. Is this any more of a mockery outside of the general Hollywood horror themes uh, of sort of Judeo-Christianity, you know, across the years. Not really, you know. 
I mean, Omen. We 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 have seen many a uh, uh, you know a religious iconography bastardized in Hollywood, and it's pretty much always been Christianity. Um, now, I would say if you are religious and you take issue with that, I would say actually that's uh, a pretty good thing, quite frankly, because it goes to show how tolerant Christians actually are. Is that Hollywood feels that they can uh, make a mockery of your religion, albeit you know that's somewhat offensive, I'm sure. But it goes to show that other religions are not actually as, uh, yeah, as understanding. So I think it's important to note that. But I don't care. I'm not religious. But, you know, I can see that some people would take umbrage with it. But you know, the, the film, that's not the issue with this. the film. The issue with the film is that a lot is implied. So we don't really know what she has inside her. Because the opening of the film starts up with someone else leaving the convent. Uh, because she sense she knows things are afoot here. They're not good. And she dies, obviously, in a pretty brutal way. Has her leg snapped off and then buried alive. Uh, but she writes on the on the wall, uh, you know, a, a, a Bible verse. Uh, and it implies that there's something satanic going on. Now, you could you could argue that the, the actions of the church in this movie, or the convent are satanically motivated but there's nothing out and out stated the the nail that they pull from is said they pulled basically basically one of the fathers was a geneticist and they have supposedly a nail that had you know was the crucifixion nail for jesus christ he pulls up dna and clones uh the savior and implants the embryo in Sidney Sweeney's character. Now, it, it, it's there's nothing to state that that's the Antichrist, but things do happen which imply it's the Antichrist. So a bird smashes a window, you know, flies at Sidney Sweeney, smashes a window, um, and just some other bits and pieces like her tooth falls out, her nail gets ripped off, the sort of general decay on her body. Uh, but there's nothing out and out stated. And she gives birth at the end of the film and proceeds to kill the baby with a giant stone. But you don't see anything. And they're consistently hiding the monitor. I think that there was a more brutal film here, but they didn't shoot it or they shot it and cut it out. And that's the impression I'm getting. And I think this would have actually been better with less implied and more stated. Genuinely. Now, I'm not one of these people that needs hand-holding through a movie, but this is one of those times where you're going to be really bloody and gory and show faces smashed up and all this kind of stuff. Show me the Antichrist, you know? Show me this little demon baby thing. Show me it. I want to see it, right? You know, just have horns or something. I don't fucking know, something. So I was a little bit let down with that. Uh, again, it's a mid-film, but it's very well shot. And the sound design's great. And Sydney Sweeney was great in it. She screams a lot. <laughs> She's a good actor in this, actually. I don't really care for Sydney Sweeney outside of the outside of how she looks, quite frankly. Um, I know misogyny. As an actor, I don't care. She's not that great. Uh, mainly, what goes for her is her looks in Hollywood, quite frankly. But this, her acting was okay. It was fine. She's kind of refining herself by the looks of it. Uh, and I would hope to see her in more things and developing her skills in, as an actor. But there you go, that's my review. Hopefully you've sort of garnered enough from it to decide whether you want to go watch it. I can't wholeheartedly recommend it, but I mean, I, I bought a movie ticket for about £6, so like $10. It was worth it for that. It was breezy. So it was fine. I'm not going to sing its praises that much. It was fine. If you want, if you, if you appreciate good filmmaking, you'll like this. Lots of tracking shots and stuff. And it's actually really, really well shot. Very, very great colour grading as well, actually. Anyway, leave your thoughts down below. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now.